All right, so in the previous segment we saw how uh, how easy it was to design these spreads in Pro Album Designer. My next job now is to um, downres these spreads to uh, a particular square album and upload them to Spreadbook so I can order them. So I remember now these book spreads are 35 by 35 centimeters, uh, which is called the Universal Book, and the reason we have these is that so that we don't um, lock ourselves to one particular album company. Rather, it's better to design a square album large enough so you can shrink the pages or spreads down to the particular album that you or the customer is interested in. So, uh, my spreads are in this folder here. You'll see each spread has a JPEG file, that's a flat JPEG file, and a PSD file which I use for if I want to go back and make some changes. <clears throat> in Pro Album Designer there's a button called Downres. This is a batch conversion tool which where I specify my input folder which is the folder where you saw all those spreads. Um, and it's this folder here. And then I select the book that I want to uh, downrest to. Um, I'm going to order a Marcus Schmuck 25 by 25. And then I have to decide because <coughs> some album companies, while they say they have a square album, turns out the pixel dimensions of the pages aren't exactly square. So you're going to have to face the decision on what to do. Do you want to crop away some pixels? Do you want to stretch the pages? Or and this tool gives you different options. Uh, default is fill in, which is cropping out excess pixels. And you can test here. It will tell you. In this particular case, making a Marcus Schmuck 25 by 25, I would lose five pixels on either side. Uh, sorry, at the top and bottom. Okay, that's not very much. So. My other option would be to st to stretch the, the book spreads, but <clears throat> in this case it would be almost half a percent of horizontal stretching. Um, a small amount of vertical stretching can be tolerated, because uh, it makes people a little bit taller, but I would advise you not to do horizontal stretching. So I'm going to stick with the default. And this tool has already suggested a name for the subfolder where the new spreads will be saved. So this tool doesn't change the spreads that, that the spreads that you have just made. So uh, when I'm happy with this, I'll just press run, and it's going to go through all the JPEG files, shrink them down, and put them in the subfolder. I can also shrink Photoshop files, but there's usually no need to. Um, uh, the downrest tool will allow you to work on JPEG or PSD or both. Okay, so we're going to let this run for a bit and we can actually look at the <coughs> bridge folder here. We see there's already a subfolder where the new spreads are being generated. Okay. Let's go one more to do. That's the last one. Okay, so now we're ready to upload the photo. So we're going to go to spreadbook.eu. We're going to log in. And I'm going to order a new book. I can switch to English here. New album. Uh, it's going to be a Marcus Schmuck 2525. I'm going to call this ENT's Wedding. <coughs> I'll just set the password to uh, testing. Okay. Right. So. I will first upload the photos.
and they're in this subfolder here. And you can see here the aspect ratio is optimal, the picture will not be cropped, so downres um, should make a perfect uh, size spread for you. Okay, I'm going to skip the video here and come back when it's finished. And we're done. It's the last spread here and it's just about to finish. There we go. I can have a look at the album. This might take a little while to generate so I'm going to pause the video again come back to you later. Alright, um, Spreadbook has generated the uh, preview and now I can look in the book and uh, I can send out an invitation to the bride and groom and uh, when they're happy um, with the book they would uh, click this button you will be notified and you can go in into your account here and send the book up for printing and that finishes this segment